Have you ever wondered what the future holds for electric vehicles? We'll get ready for an exciting update on the Skoda Enyaq. The second generation of this popular electric SUV is set to arrive in either 2028 or 2029. And it's bringing some significant changes compared to the current model. Uh, Skoda CEO Paul Zelme has confirmed that the Enyaq NK2 will be the first Skoda vehicle to adopt Volkswagen's new SSP platform. This platform, which will also be used in the all-electric VW Golf, is expected to be utilized in 80% of VW Group cars. It's a modular architecture that can accommodate various drivetrains and batteries catering to the diverse requirements uh, of the VW Group's vehicles. The upcoming Enyaq will be manufactured at the Malata Bolslaw factory in the Czech Republic where the current Enyaq uh, is produced. Uh, it's likely to feature Skoda's modern solid design with language potentially resembling the Skoda Vision 7S concept. However, unlike the concept, the MJ2 Enyaq will have a seating capacity for five individuals. Uh, the transition to VW's SSP platform is a significant development for the Enyaq. It promises improved range, efficiency, and power. With the new platform, the MK2 Enyaq could achieve an attend 80% charge in approximately 12 minutes, compared to the current Enyaq's charging time of around 35 minutes. That's a game changer for electric vehicle owners. Uh, but that's not all. Skoda has already unveiled the 2024 Enyaq which features an extended range and increased power. The company is constantly pushing the boundaries of electric vehicle technology to provide better options for their customers. In fact, Skoda has already delivered nearly 54,000 Enyaq units in 2022, showing the growing popularity of their electric SUV. So get ready to embrace the future of electric vehicles with the second generation Skoda Enyaq. With its adoption of VW's SSP platform, improved charging times, and impressive performance, it's sure to make waves in the market. Keep an eye out for this exciting release. And now, for a little joke to lighten the mood. Why, why did the electric car bring a map to the race? Because it didn't want to get lost and fill the circuit. And with that said, thanks for reading, and until next time.